Hello, everyone. Aloha, and welcome to Security Matters. My name is Jake Brown, and with me today, I have CIA's own Don Erickson, as well as CIA Rise Chair and Vice Chair, and former scholarship winners, Aaron Mann and Kelsey Carnell. Welcome to the show, everyone. Today, we're going to be discussing all things CIA Rise Scholarship. So, before we get into our discussion, I'm going to be uh, providing a little context about the scholarship for those viewers who are not familiar with the initiative. Um, so this year, we are, uh, the deadline for the scholarship is October 8th, and we are giving out at least five scholarships worth $3,000 $3, each in which the winners can use the funds towards things like continuing education in the industry, industry certifications, industry trainings, different SIA programs, different SIA offerings. And for the second year in a row, they can use the, the funds to pay back student loans, which was a biggie for us to be able to continue because we felt like things like certifications and industry trainings are absolutely essential in the security industry. But we wanted to kind of reverse engineer it last year and obviously continue it into this year um, and say, how could we possibly relieve a burden off of a YP shoulders um, and, and relieve a stress and help them move more efficiently in their career, ultimately helping their you know, career development and personal de development as well. So I want to start with Don Erickson. Don, you have been uh, present since the birth of this scholarship, essentially. Uh, your role with SIA and your uh, connection to SIA Rise. Tell us why the scholarship was formed. And, um, you know, listen, there are great programs in the industry, um, but what made SIA Rise and, and SIA come together to, to form this scholarship? Essentially? Yeah, no, I appreciate that, Jake. And thanks for hosting today. First of all, I can't possibly talk about Rise without thanking Aaron and Kelsey for their involvement and Katie Griotti on our team. I mean, it's a, RISE is more than a committee. It, it's a community, it's more than a community, it's a movement, right? And so we're proud to be a part of this and SIA back in 2015 established RISE. It's grown phenomenally through the work of Aaron and Kelsey and Katie among many others and yourself, Jake. So really appreciate the opportunity to talk about the program. Now about the scholarship program itself, look, our goal in setting this up was to help employees of our member companies, particularly young professionals. As we all know, we've talked about it for many, many years. The industry is graying. People are getting closer to retirement. We have superstars that are coming through the ranks. And we think as an industry association, we have to empower them. We have to help them. And if we could save them money through programs such as a scholarship program where they can repay student loan debt, we've all been through it, right? I was too. That's a big relief. So for us, it was really simple. It's empowering young professionals. And I think for companies, our members, and we deal with manufacturers, integrators all the time, it comes down to two things, right? It comes down to corporate social responsibility, which appeals to young professionals. And it comes, to, comes down to diversifying the workforce. And if I were managing a company today in a workforce for a for-profit, I'd wanna send a message to our young professionals that we wanna create a culture of philanthropy within our workforce. And that, those are all the reasons that we decide to create the scholarship program. Thank you for that. And I mean, it's it's amazing. I joined the CRI's community in February of 2020. And out of the many programs that, that we offer as a CRI's community, this one, there's just so much excitement. Like, I mean, I'm on the scholarship subcommittee. Um, and this past scholarship run, we got 46 applications. And for me to see everyone, all, all my, you know, co-committee members, all of their just in, in crazy excitement um, around the fact that we got 46 applicants, it was amazing. And, and, you know, we got eight applicants in 2018 and 19 in 2019, then to go to 46, that's an incredible jump. Um, so, at the time when we got 46 applicants, we were so happy, we were excited, you know, this thing is growing by leaps and bounds, which it is. But a few months after, after the scholarship run was completely finished, um, we came back and we said, all right, we got 46 applicants and we were only able to give out five scholarships. So to us, it was kind of like, all right, 
there were a lot more than five applicants who, you know, could have been considered for the scholarship and, and, and could have won. Um, so what, what were our options? Were we gonna lower the, the amount? Eh. In this industry with certifications and, and different trainings um, that, that you, know, you are now required to get um, for certain positions, $3,000 is the optimal amount. So we wanted to kind of structure a program, a sponsorship program where companies will sponsor a scholarship, a $3,000 sponsorship, um, and that's their way, and, and that's our way to A, increase uh, scholarships, B, these companies can now contribute to the future of this industry, which is what we are as CRIs incredibly passionate about. Um, and with me today, I have the CRI's chair and vice chair, who are also former scholarship winners in Aaron Mann and Kelsey Carnell. Uh, these are the fearless leaders and rock stars of CRI's. We thank you both for all that you do and all of your hard work. But today I wanna to talk to you guys as former scholarship winners. So we'll start with Aaron and then we'll kick it to Kelsey. Um, I have a couple questions back to back to back that I think you'll be able to answer. Um, so we'll start with Aaron. What were your motivations for applying to the scholarship? What did you use the funds for? And looking back right now, how did that benefit your career? Like if looking back right this second, um, talk about some of the ways that that scholarship money benefited your career. Sure. So really fortunate to be on the show with you today and to talk about this. The scholarship is probably one of my favorite initiatives that RISE offers as a program, mostly because it was the way that I kind of entered the RISE community. So back in 2018, I had just been given a new role. And at the time I was with Allegiant. And my role was a customer experience focused role. So I moved out of marketing into customer experience. And my team's focus was really working on external partners and the way that their software ecosystems could integrate with our Schlage and other Allegiant product hardware. And so this was a brand new role for me. Um, and I was surrounded by you know, business leaders, engineers, technical folk, and I was working a lot with software developers from partners, but also within our own organization. And so I really felt like I needed to do something to be able to empathize with all of those different roles that I was working with. So I found um, some courses online that were kind of an intro to software product development management um, and really wanted to take them just because I felt like it would give me the ability and the insight to put myself in all of those different stakeholders shoes to understand what we needed to do at our organization to make it easier to partner but then also translate some of the needs of some of these software developers into, you know, these are the tactical things we need to execute on as a team. So the RISE scholarship really was my first introduction into RISE as a community of young professionals in the industry. And I applied for the funds hoping to um, fund my uh, eventual application to these courses, which I was awarded the scholarship and did get to go to those courses which drastically kind of changed the way that I viewed not only my career, but the impact that I could have in a role like customer experience, which is a role that's becoming much more prominent in the industry as design theory comes in. And we're really focused on the human elements of, of security within broader tech ecosystems. Um, and so I, I won it in 2018 and then kind of became addicted to Rise and everything that the, the group has to offer. Um, and at the first Accelerize conference, I actually got the little uh, certificate that I had won the scholarship. And that's actually where I met Kelsey. So Rise has given me a whole lot, but it's also given me a lot of friends in the industry. And Kelsey is one of them. And it's all because of the Rise scholarship. That's great. And it's amazing how you were thinking both short term and then you were kind of able to loop back in and, and kind of, you know, evaluate the long term as well. I think that's something every young professional um, in the security industry can do. And in turn, they should really apply for the scholarship. Um, so, Kelsey, um, tell us, you know, about I, I personally know why you applied and, and what you've you know done with the funds. But um, tell us all, tell the viewers, what were your motivations were for applying to the scholarship? What did you end up using the funds for? And looking back right now, how, how did this benefit your career? 
Yeah. Thank you, Jake. And awesome story, Aaron and Don. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to share the virtual stage with you guys. Um, as Erin said, I love this crew and RISE is a great community to be involved in. Um, so I applied for the scholarship. I actually was forwarded the scholarship information from my manager at the time. So I would encourage any managers or team leads or people in leadership roles that are watching to take a chance and maybe forward it for the um, scholarship to some of your employees uh, because you're investing in your employees as much as the industry and SIA isn't investing in the future of the industry. So uh, that's how I found out about it. To be honest with you, I wasn't really sure. Um, I didn't really know what RISE was at that time. And in 2018 or 2017, I guess, to 2018, I applied as well. Um, I too got involved with RISE because of the scholarship. Uh, so Erin and I have an oddly similar story <laughs> and we've become very close friends. So um, I think it's super cool because I think I use my funds at the time I was a uh, sales development rep at Axis. Um, and I was trying to think about my career trajectory where I wanted to go. I always wanted to be in like an outside sales role, which I am currently. But from then till now, I did need some education, some management education. Um, I wanted to be a manager of some sort. So um, while I was a sales development rep, I used the funds to finish my master's degree in business administration. Um, and I used some of it to get my SEPTED certification, which is crime prevention through environmental design, if anybody has not heard of it. Um, it really, and to this day, it helps me because it's super valuable in evaluating and assessing site plans and situations that I'm walking every single day now. So um, currently as a regional sales manager, I'm walking sites, trying to work with integrators and partners and end customers on camera layouts and what technology to use where. And honestly, if it wasn't for that class and SIA Rise and the scholarship program giving me some funds and allowing me to take that class um, to further education, I, I wouldn't be where I am today, honestly. So I think, um, Twofold, the, the scholarship is a great opportunity because of the funds, you can use them for any, I think it's a really diverse um, scholarship because you can use it for master's degree, you can use it to finish a graduate degree, a, um, a bachelor's degree, right? You can use it for that kind of stuff or you can get your CSPM or you can uh, get your PSP or any industry certifications or any leadership training. So really the sky's the limit. And I think that's the coolest part and what intrigued me most about applying for the scholarship. I love what you, you said there, the sky's the limit. Um, we see, you know, past winners using it on things like MBAs and CSPMs and, and different courses. Um, and I want to kind of loop this back in with, with our, our sponsorship program you know, as a company, if, if you choose to sponsor a scholarship, um, you never know. I mean, obviously you are, like I said, contributing to the future of this industry um, directly right away. Once, once that applicant wins the scholarship, boom, you know, whatever they choose to use the funds on, that's their decision, but it's obviously gonna benefit them just like it benefited Aaron and Kelsey and, and all the other past winners. Um, you never know that YP could easily be in your C-suite one day, or even just be an employee of yours in a couple of years. So I have one more question for the whole crew. Uh, we'll start with Don, we'll go to Aaron, then we'll go to Kelsey. Uh, and this is for applicants. So if you had to tell um, an applicant or, or give an applicant a call to action, um, someone who may be on the fence of, about applying, uh, not too familiar with the program, or just in general, they may not feel like they're going to be considered, uh, what would you tell them to kind of get over that hump and, and, and ultimately apply? Well, Jake, first of all, if they've listened to Aaron and Kelsey, they couldn't be help but be inspired, right? I mean, so great testimonials for the scholarship program. That should be enough. So hopefully we're gonna get a lot of viewership, but in all seriousness, it's a very seamless process. There are not a lot of requirements. If you're a student member of CEO or an employee of a member company, you have a few questions to answer, reference check, an essay, but it's pretty basic for, for the amount of money you're receiving in return. So I think it's pretty straightforward. 
Thank you, Don and Erin. I think, um, you know, for me, one of the one of the coolest experiences of being part of RISE has been being on the other side of the scholarship and seeing how many innovative ways the young professionals of the industry are looking to expand their horizons and get furthering education or go to really cool conferences or or repay their student loans. And I think that, you know, something that's really unique about the security industry is how many opportunities that that you know, groups and associations like SIA provide for their members. And I think what sets young professionals in the security industry apart is that their passion comes through when they take advantage of opportunities like this. So, you know, we've seen a lot of people apply for the scholarship in traditional means for master's programs or, you know, repayment of student loans or doctorate programs or going to conferences. And in the last couple of years, we've also seen some really cool iterations on different courses that people want to take, like mechanical engineers taking disruptive design theory courses. And as we're seeing the industry really transform because security is becoming a feature of some bigger, you know, tech ecosystems and solutions and being deployed in really innovative ways, we're seeing the passion of young professionals and the idea that they can think about their jobs in a different way, even if they're traditional roles, really transform. And that's been really, really neat. So I would say if you're a young professional and you're thinking about your role either in a traditional way or you're thinking of, you know, how can I, how can I expand the headspace that I'm thinking about my role and I'm really interested in going to X, Y, and Z, like Don said, it's a it's a really seamless process. It's so enjoyable for the steering committee to see these applications and to hear about the passion behind the young professionals and to talk to some of the reference checks and say, you know, tell me about this person and hear how wonderfully these reference checks talk about the applicants. It's the most enjoyable experience. So if you are looking just to have a little bit of a leg up or take advantage of an opportunity that's coming your way, this is one of the easiest opportunities to take advantage of. And it's one that'll continue kind of benefiting you tenfold year after year. So apply, it's easy. We love the process and there's nothing that Rise loves to do more than help people get a leg up in the industry and with their careers. So if you're even a little bit on the fence, just, just go for it because you won't regret it. I love that. Um, and, you know, it really is an, an easy application process. And if I was an applicant, like I would, I would love to fill out this application. I mean, who doesn't like talking about themselves? It's basic psychology. Um, Kelsey, <laughs> what, are, what are your closing remarks here and kind of echoing off Don and, and Aaron? Yeah. Um, I would just say for one, my favorite line, you never know unless you try, right? So if you don't try, you're never going to win, right? So uh, basic principles there, but I would say just do it. And my other feedback or my other piece of advice is this is a great opportunity, as mentioned, that it's you can diversify your background and um, your work because the scholarship, you can use it to something maybe you wanted to try. I'm not an electrical engineer, but maybe I'm interested in something like that. Or maybe it's down in my future career. Um, so I would just say if you be genuine and be authentic in your answers, because it's really, really, to Erin's point, it's really fun reading them and your passion shines through for sure. Um, it, to everybody's point, everybody said it's not, it doesn't take much time. You're right. Um, it's short and sweet, but we did add some fun questions. It's not just questions about the industry, it's questions about you, because we want to get to know you, how are you going to use the funds, and really how passionate you are about staying in the industry, furthering the industry, and continuing to help other YPs. So I say just do it. Just do <laughs> just do it. Love, it. Hey, Love it. Just a couple of closing comments here as we wrap up. Again, to talk to the prospective donors for a second. So the manufacturers, the integrators, who are being asked to support the scholarship program. Can't emphasize enough the importance of brand awareness, trying to reach the next generation workforce, right? So even if you're not sponsoring your own employee currently, Jake, to your point, they could end up on your workforce one day, right? So you want to show your commitment as a, as a company to diversity and to the young professional community, number one. Secondly, you know, we want corporate donations for this program, and we've been gratified by the number of donations that have come in. But let's point out, if you're an individual, you could also contribute. So I will tell you that although my kids, my three kids are three years or four years away from entering college and, and the workforce, they were so inspired by this that 
uh, I made a donation personally to the scholarship program this morning, and I'm happy to do that. And I hope other individuals will do it going forward. So the call to action here is I'm hoping that uh, other executives within our member companies will, will contribute either individually or through corporate donations to the program. On behalf of the CRI's entire community, thank you for that donation. Um, I love all that you said in regards to the donations in general when it comes to individuals and, and companies. Um, thank you all uh, for joining me today on Security Matters. Thank you to Andrew Lanning for making this possible every month when CRI's kind of takes over the show. Um, and more importantly, you know, Don, Aaron, Kelsey, Katie, I know you're watching. Um, thank you for all your hard work with this specific initiative. Um, the impact that it has on the young professional community is, is, is massive. Um, and I am beyond excited to continue working with you all um, over the next couple of years on this. So thank you all for coming down to, to Security Matters and uh, we'll see you next time. Great, thanks Jake. Jake.